Hello, good evening, everyone. Beta, the topic for today's session is uh, demand functions, right? This is chapter four of Serrano. Right, Beta? So um, we have already done chapter two and three, and I hope that you are able to also solve the back questions of these uh, chapters. The solutions are provided on your portal. And today I will start with chapter number four. Okay, beta, let's start. So do you remember that when your utility function was x1 to the power alpha, x2 to the power beta, beta, I called this as a well-defined utility function, hai na? Well-defined utility function. But what was my aim? What did I intend to do? The intention was to go ahead and to maximize utility subject to my budget constraint. So I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to maximize this utility function subject to my budget constraint. Right? And what is my budget constraint? P1x1 plus P2x2 is equal to M. And a beta. So we did this through various techniques in the last class. But when I went ahead and when I did this, then what we got was x1 star and x2 star. We got the optimal consumption. Mili thi. Now, today I want to start by discussing better two kind of variables. One is called an exogenous variable. And the other is known as an endogenous variable. Right, beta? And exogenous variable is that variable which is outside the model. Just ko hum constant maante. So it is assumed to be constant. What will be the example of exogenous variable in this case, beta? But what I can decide will be the demand of the two goods. That is under my control. Ki mujhe kitna good one or kitna good two demand karna hai. But what is outside my control, that is going to be the price of the goods and the income. Hai, that is always assumed to be given. So, but exogenous kya ho jate hai? P1, P2 and M. These are assumed to be exogenous good. And but what is exogenous? Which is endogenous? Which is determined? Determined? within the model. So what am I determining within the model? Within the model, I am determining the demand of the two goods, x1 star and x2 star. Yehi main within the model determine kar rahi na? So beta, this x1 star and x2 star, these are called as endogenous variables. Clear with me, baat? Achha. Now, if you remember, go to chapter number three, and try to see that when I was doing that chapter, but we found out that X1 star ka jo optimal demand aya tha na, it was alpha upon alpha plus beta M by P1. That was my optimal demand of X1. Similarly, beta, the optimal demand of X2 that I had got na, that was beta upon alpha plus beta M by P2. So the optimal demands that I had got of good one and good two. They were a function of income and prices. Clear hui baat? So, beta, hum kya dekh pa rahe is case mein? We are able to see that the demand of the two goods, it is a function of the exogenous variables. It's a function of exogenous variables. So, beta, what are we seeing? Ma'am, we are seeing that the endogenous variable demand is a function of the exogenous variables. Now, we want to go ahead and ask an important question. Kya beta? How the demand of endogenous variable, how the endogenous variable changes as exogenous variable changes. So, beta, hum kya question pooch rahe? We are asking how this x1 star will be affected when m changes. 
how this X1 star will be affected when P1 changes. Ye M or P1 to, these were to, uh, my exogenous variables, these were outside the model. But how these exogenous variable, they affect my endogenous variable, that is what I want to go ahead and ask today. But this concept, when you ask this, this is known as comparative static. Isko kya bol dete hai hum? We call this as comparative, comparative statics. Okay, beta. So what is comparative statics? Ma'am, comparative statics is basically when we go ahead and we check how the exogenous variable affects the endogenous variable that is called as comparative statics. Okay, beta.